Let's lift our hands to the Most High God and bless His holy name. Give Him glory, give Him honor. Bless His holy name. Bless the Almighty God. It's worthy to be praised. Worthy to be magnified. There's no one like him. Praise him. Praise the Almighty God. Praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Praise the Ancient of Days. Magnify his holy name. Magnify his holy name. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. The King of kings, the Lord of lords. The man of war. Glory be to your holy name. Accept our worship in Jesus' name. Thank you for what you did on Thursday. Thank you for what you did last night. Thank you for what you are about to do now. Thank you for a glorious tomorrow. Glory be to your holy name. Father, we know you always reserve the best in the last. Give us the best tonight in Jesus' name. Much more than we can hope for. Give us the best tonight in Jesus' name. And all your children who are watching all over the world, give them the best also in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let someone shout hallelujah.
And then shake and withdraw three people. Yes, but Lord, Lord, uh, Lord, 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 and say, I know I'm shaking hands with a winner. I know I'm shaking hands with a winner. And if that is true, then let me hear you shout a big hallelujah. You may please be seated. By 6 p.m. this evening, numbers of babies born has risen to 14. Six boys and eight girls. And let the sister shout praise the Lord. And let the boy shout hallelujah. I think we will catch up before tomorrow morning. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9 Engineers, some people are clapping for you towards my left Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9 He says so by Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity Therefore God even thy God has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. He was fell, Dodo. He was a good relationship. He told you, and your Lord, and your Lord, right? She feel Aurora, you know, do I want a bear alone? It's not enough to be a winner, as we learned on Thursday. He should be a auto get when he. You must remain a winner. The world is full of ex champions. And I'm telling you, it's a terrible thing to be. An ex champion. As in so far, he that you do pay on top of Runi, you can have a good day as Shegu. Like I said, it's a terrible thing to be an ex champion. For the rest of your life, you will keep on winning. Amen. Why do we need anointing? There are several reasons. We just mentioned a few tonight. You need anointing for boldness. So that you'll be able to defend yourself if the enemy should attack. In Judges chapter 14, verse 5 to 6. Judges 14, 5 to 6. When Samson was going down to Timnath, a lion, a young lion roared at him. 
The Spirit of God came on him. Anointing rose within him. Instead of fearing and running, an unusual boldness came. Came and he grabbed the lion and tore it into two. After tonight's anointing service, you will never need to run from the enemy again. Amen. Number two. You need anointing so that you can become aggressive. It has been said that attack is the best form of defense. In first Samuel chapter 17. Verse 34 to 37. First Samuel 17, 34 to 37. We see the role of anointing to help you protect the weak. To protect those who are precious to you from any attack of the enemy. David said he was watching over his father's uh, flock when a lion came. The lion wasn't attacking David to start with. He picked one of the helpless sheep. But an aggression came on David that can only have been provided by anointing. He attacked the lion. Snatched the lamb out of his mouth. And when the lion then turned on David, the aggression continued. And he began to punch the lion until it died. A beer came and repeated the same process and it suffered the same fate. You need anointing to protect those who are precious to you from the attacks of the enemy. We'll be learning more about this next month if Jesus studies. Before I allow the devil, he will destroy your children. But after today's anointing, the devil will soon realize that he must never come near your children again. Amen. Number three, you need anointing for dominion. You need the anointing to become, as it were, a one-man army. In Judges 15, 
Verses 14 and 15. Judges 15. From verse 14 to 15. When they brought Samson bound to the Philistines. And the entire army of the Philistines roared at him. Anointing came on one single man. He killed a thousand soldiers and the rest fled. I'm believing God for you. That it doesn't matter how many are your enemies. After tonight's anointing service, you will have dominion over them all. Amen. You need number four, you need the anointing. In order to become a terror to your enemies. To become a terror to your enemies. In Judges 16, verse 1 to 3. Judges 16, 1 to 3. The enemies heard that Samson was in town. But they were so afraid of him. They locked the gate of the city. And said, We dare not fight him in the night. We better wait till the morning. They were afraid of one man. Bible said that Mina he got up, uprooted their gates. And carried it to the hilltop. They saw him when he was shaking the gate. They saw him when he was carrying the gate up here. Why didn't they attack him? They were afraid of him. I'm praying for you, brethren. That after tonight, when the enemy see you coming, they will run. Amen. Number five, you need anointing. For you to have the power to arrest your arresters. Last month we discussed arresting arresters. And you need the anointing of God to do that. Second King chapter six. Verse eight to twenty. Second King six. Eight to twenty. The Bible tells us that a king sent a whole army to go and arrest Elisha. That will tell you how frightened of him they were. Elisha had no, no weapons except the anointing. The army came. He arrested them. If there's any of your enemies still left alive, with the anointing coming on you today, you will arrest them all. Amen. I don't want to tell you stories tonight. I want to 
be quick. Number six. Of course, you need the anointing to witness. The reason the Lord did not take you away the day you became born again is that you can go ahead and witness to others. That your life will not only be blessed, you will be a blessing to others. You've just had a testimony of someone who helped another fellow transmitting anointing from himself to someone else to rescue that fellow from the mighty power of probably the biggest nation in the world. The power to witness. According to Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Acts 1 verse 8. Comes when the Holy Ghost is come upon you. I'm believing God for you that even before this month ends you would have won several souls for Jesus Christ. So how then do I get the anointing? More than anyone else our text tells us Hebrews 1 verse 9. He said, You love righteousness. You hate iniquity. Then God, your God, will anoint you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. It is good to be number one. There's something very, very special when you are number one. My prayer for you is that in whatever area of life God has placed you, you will be number one. Amen. The advantages of being number one, they are very numerous. Very, very numerous. The head of state wants to pass, they shut the door, uh, they shut the road. The rest of you, you were the one who voted for him, but the rest of you must wait and let him pass first. I was attending a conference. Huge conference. And I was standing outside. Getting some fresh air before I go in. And one young man came to me. To greet. After I finished greeting, he kept on talking and talking. And I, I was aware that there were not enough seats in that auditorium for the people. After a while, I told him, Brother, 
You better go and get yourself a seat. As for me, my seat is reserved. Anytime I go in there, nobody is taking my chair. Because by the grace of God, in that conference, I happen to be number one when you are number one your blessings are reserved nobody struggles they they know this is yours and I believe there is someone here tonight the almighty God is about to anoint you to become number one amen amen he wants to make you number one. Advantages of excelling, I can go on and on and tell you more. But if passage now says, if you want to be anointed above all your fellows, that you want to become first among equals. There are two things you must do. Number one, you must love what God loves. You love righteousness. But it says you don't stop there. You must hate what God hates. Love what he loves. Hate what he hates. You can't be neutral. When you see evil, you must go against it. When you see sin, you must go against it. Love righteousness. Hate iniquity. Then your God will anoint you above your fellows. Is anyone here tonight who would love to be number one? You want to excel in everything that you do. So shall it be for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Make up your mind. I will love what God loves. And God loves souls. And I will hate what he hates. He hates sin. You do this too. He will anoint you above your fellows. Just in case there's anyone here tonight. Maybe you didn't come last night. So you are just about to decide now you want to surrender your life to Jesus you can come forward now and you have to hurry if you want to come you hurry very very quickly the rest of us talk to God just for a few minutes and ask for grace to love what he loves and hate what he hates. Talk to God. If you want to give your life to Jesus, come forward now. Come immediately. Please, the rest of us, we can stretch our hands to these people in the front. 
and pray that God will save their souls those of you who have come out talk to the almighty God ask him to be merciful unto you to save your soul to forgive all your sins promise him that from now on you will serve him you will do only his will ask him to be your lord as well as your savior talk to him talk to him the rest of us please let's intercede for these people for one more minute that the one who saved our souls will save their own souls also let's intercede for them in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen Savior, we want to bless your holy name. We thank you for your word. We thank you for these people who have come forward to surrender their lives to you. Father, please be merciful unto them. Forgive all their sins. Save their souls today. Let your blood wash away their sins. Please write their names in the book of life. And don't let them ever go back into the world. From now on, anytime they call on you, please answer them by fire. Uphold them to the end. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, I rejoice with those of you who have come forward. Uh, from now on, by the grace of God, I'll be praying for you. So, I'm going to need your names, your address and your prayer request. As soon as you are anointed, your prayer will be, Father, Baba, let me remain a winner forever. That's your prayer. As soon as the oil comes on you, just keep on praying. Father, Baba, let me be a winner forever. Then when all of us have been anointed, we'll pray another prayer. Now, God bless you. Uh, we'll be hearing some music from the choir. Anointing Follow me Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me, anointing fall on me. on me I know fall on me like the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me I know Let it fall on. Let it fall on. 
My life will never remain the same again.
to break every chain. There is power, yeah.
to use the anointing to do some warfare. First, let me tell you a story. So you know how to pray, prayer number one. I told my children. We are not only the children of the Lamb. We are also children of the Lion of Judah. So I told them what to do if they find themselves facing war when Daddy is not around. So for that they went to hold a crusade somewhere here in this state and as they were gathering together because the idol worshippers of the town don't want Jesus they brought out masquerades with cane to chase people away. Beating their drums so loudly they, they won't be able to hear choruses. And one little daughter of mine remembered what I said. And she happens to be aware oh, yes. that if the drums should break over a masquerade, that masquerade will not come out the following year. So she just moved aside. I said, I command all drums to break. And one after the other, the drums began to break. And the masquerades scattered. Please stand on your feet. Lift your voice to the most high. I said, by the unction of the anointing, I decree every drum beating against my destiny break now, break now, break now. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus by the unction of the anointing I decree every drum beating against my destiny break now break now break now every drum of the enemy beating against my destiny I command you right now in the mighty name of Jesus break now break now right now right now Every drum beating against my health, beating against my progress, break beating against my success, beating against my destiny, break now in the mighty name of Jesus. Break right now. Break right now. 
Every satanic drum. Break. Break tonight. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I tell you another story. As I told me of you. To help you pray. On another crusade. One abadis came loaded with charms. That he wanted to spray on all those who answer the altar call. Another young fellow prayed, inspired by the Holy Spirit. As the Habalit put his hand in his pocket to bring out the charm, the hand got stuck, refused to come out. Lift your voice to the Almighty God. Every hand that the enemy wants to raise against me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Paralyzed right now. Under the unction of the Holy Spirit. Under the function of this anointing. Every hand that the enemy wants to raise against me. Paralyzed right now. Paralyzed right now. Let that hand be paralyzed, not able to move again. Every hand that the enemy wants to raise against me. Paralyzed right now. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. i tell you another story. When I was a lecturer at the University of Lagos, I have a small band of young boys and girls. We normally study together. One night, they got information that the gang leaders in the campus wanted to burn down the house containing the bank. And one of them said, Ah, and Lecturer, uh, lecturer daddy has gone home. The other one said, It has taught us what to do. So they prayed a simple prayer. That confusion will come into the midst of those boys. They were drinking wine what you to get to strengthen themselves for the evil they wanted to do and they fell asleep what is law by the time they woke up it was daytime 
and the quarrel started among them. What kind of leader are you? That you fell asleep on duty. What kind of assistance are you to? That you didn't wake me up. With their own hands. They poured away the petrol they were going to use. Lift your voice to the Almighty God. Father. Baba. Tonight. Wherever they are gathering together for my evil, send confusion into their midst. I command by the unction of the anointing, let my enemies begin to fight themselves. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Wherever they are gathering together to plan evil concerning me, Father, send confusion into their midst. I decree by the unction of the anointing, let my enemies begin to fight themselves. Let my adversaries begin to fight themselves. Let them begin to fight themselves. Mokushetandra Mokuranga Mokushetandra. Ah, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Finally, I want you to pray by faith. When some soldiers came to arrest Elijah, he roasted them. Lift your voice to the Almighty God. I said, Father, I am your child. I will love what you love. I will hate what you hate. On that basis, Lord, I hereby say to my enemies, I'm coming through. If you wait, you will roast. Aha, go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Father, Baba, I am your child. I will love what you love. I will hate what you hate. On that basis, Lord, I hereby say to my enemies, wait and be roasted. I'm coming through. You wait and you'll be roasted. Like yourself. You get out of my way. I am saying the mighty name of Jesus to all you enemies, known and unknown. I am co coming through. You stand in my way, you will roast. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you love yourself, Move out of the way. All right now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, my Father, my God. Blessed be your Holy Name. Blessed be your Holy Name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In the name of the Lord of hosts, the man of war himself, I hereby decree by the unction of the anointing from tonight onward, you become untouchable to the enemies. Amen. Any drum of shame, every drum of the enemy beating against you shall break right now. Any hand that the enemy wants to raise against you shall be paralyzed right now. Amen. Anywhere they are gathering against you, God will send confusion into their midst. Amen. Your enemies will destroy themselves. And from now on, when the enemy see you coming, they will run. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, I have decreed it. If you receive that, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Well, very quickly, let's, let's thank the Almighty God for what He has done tonight. We will dance and drop our Thanksgiving offering. And then we'll have the final blessing and we can begin to go. Over to you, musician. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, oh, Alleluia. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Victory tonight, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, mighty God. the great I am. Oh, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You have given us victory. We worship Your name. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. I 
You may want to lift your handkerchief to God We can ask the Almighty God to anoint them When you are ready, wave it so I can see that you are ready Ah, okay Okay Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you can see all these pieces of cloth lifted up to you. Right now, saturate each one with your anointing. Amen. So so mightily that wherever each one is used, miracles will occur. Amen. Use these handkerchiefs to raise the dead. Amen. Human dead. Dead businesses, dead marriages, dead projects, 
Use this handkerchief to raise the dead. Amen. Hello, I want to do a Baba. That is so good. And let the miracles begin right now. Bless the offerings of your children. Sanctify it. And use it for your glory. Before the end of this month, as far as financial breakthroughs are concerned, let every one of these your children shout, Glory be to God. Amen. As you go, God will go with you. Your anointing will never run dry. Amen. You will go from victory to victory. Amen. From triumph to triumph. Amen. You will remain winners forever. Amen. And in, your, in the kingdom of God, you will not be missing. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Come on, wave the handkerchief and let's make the devil mad. Shout a big hallelujah to the Almighty.